And I learned something about this aircraft. This is the space shuttle trainer. So it has the left or the right hand seat is a conventional aircraft. It flies just normal, normal flight controls. But the 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 left seat is entirely space shuttle. And the aircraft had its flight controls and things modified a little bit so that it would feel and react exactly the same as the space shuttle when it's gliding in for a landing. I think that's pretty neat. So all the every single space shuttle astronaut trained in this Gulfstream and then now it's here. It's been extensively modified. I've seen what the cockpit looks like and I'll try and get a picture of it. It's pretty cool. Space Shuttle Flight Simulator. Yeah. And wow. this is identical seating to the aircraft that's outside. They had to do roughly 50 flights. Oh, I know this. the one you're talking about. Yeah. Then they went out to the yep. craft that's outside and they yep. they flew, had to fly about another 50 flights in that before they'd ever let them in into the space shuttle. So this is the cockpit side for the airplane that's the cockpit side for the space shuttle controls that's fantastic but we've never got it working or set up
This aircraft has been modified extensively to the flight test program. And this plane, <laughs> I don't know what to think. It's got a huge speed brake on there. It's got massive fuel tanks. I don't know what to think. Is it a DEA aircraft? Is it flight test? Is it some type? Are those, those don't actually look like fuel tanks. They got a weird looking nose on them. It must be some kind of instrument or something. Let's try and find out more about this weird looking plane. A weird looking thing on the top too.